So uh, what we have here is an autonomous fire suppression system. Uh, it works via servo control to aim a nozzle at candle fires. And then if it decides that it is indeed aiming at a fire, it will activate a pump and douse the flame with water. Okay, and so the, the sensor array is here. There's an upper and a middle and a lower sensor. Mm -hmm. Yes. <clears throat> and then there's a, a servo motor here with a belt drive that yes. moves in the azimuth. Mm -hmm. And then this one is an altitude servo. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then you have a, 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 a water reservoir, reservoir with, a, with a pump over here controlled from the microcontroller, yes. presumably. Right. Yes. Okay, you want to fire it off? Do you want to... We... Sure. Okay. Uh, turn off the lights? Yes, turn off the lights. And I'll get over here and where I can get hosed down. Okay, now, so turn it on. So it pans across the scene. Okay. Yeah, we're still testing Yeah, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> so these fires, I don't know, some, it kind of varies, like, our candle brightness. Um, it definitely does better when we have, like, a little bit of a bigger flame and a brighter flame. So it hit the top one. It, it was very it, close to the yes. top one. So what's interesting is the top one is the one that usually gets hit the least, and right now it's the one that... Uh huh. The bottom three are usually the best. Yeah. Oh. All right. Well.